With the help of constraints in Cascader, you can make something like a root controller. Say we have a simple in-place walk cycle. Create a cube or any other transform object. Go to Commands Add Cube. and put it on the separate track. I'll call it root underscore controller. Now remove the unnecessary keys by selecting the timeline and pressing Alt F. To create a constraint, select all the points of the rig, shift select our object, go to commands, rig additional, constraint points. Constraint points now have a new constraint tab in the object properties window. So let's activate the constraint. As you may have noticed, the value changed when we moved to another frame. That's because it's stored separately for each frame and interpolation interval. Select the entire animation and switch the mode to apply changes to the selected interval. Now, by moving our controller, we get the character to walk forward. By changing the position of the controller in the last frame, you can change the walking speed. 